Hello and welcome to the very long awaited super dollar deal in depth guide. Yes, that's right, we are finally wrapping up the contract guides. I'm sorry this took so long, however, I had to get everything perfect for the last episode. And today, we are going over some very useful strats for the super dollar deal. In fact, this is the beefiest one yet. For the first planning work, we have the tracking device. And although the words military base make you want to just quit, it's really not that difficult. Throughout this entire video, we will be using the Oppressor Mark II, and yes, even on the finale, more on that later on in the video. So with an Oppressor, just don't even bother to listen to Santa's instructions, just literally fly over the military base and take out all the surrounding vehicles and enemies that are around the trailer. Then. Once the path is cleared, you can land behind the trailer. It's very important that you land on the other side where there is a lot more cover and you won't end up dead with your oppressor impounded. So take a photo of the trailer and the next step is just go around to the other side and prepare for a few bullet wounds. But don't worry, it's pretty quick just to install the tracker and then run back around to your oppressor. And after this, it's a very easy and simple tactic of losing the cops. If you own one, which if you have an oppressor mark II, nine times out of 10, you should have the terabyte. So just request it and then enter that way. You will instantly lose the cops and we can move on to the next prep. The next prep, we have the virus tech. Undoubtedly the easiest mission so far on the series. However, people love to overcomplicate it when it comes to this mission. So when you arrive at the location, Sasanta will have sent you a photo. Don't worry about that. All you're gonna do is prevent the hacker man from getting onto his very, very slow Fagio. And even if he did get onto the Fagio, it would be very easy to just get him. But yes, we don't actually have to follow him all the way to his apartment for 10 minutes straight. All we gotta do is just, well, shoot him. And using the photo, you can locate where he is. But the best way to do this is just to shoot around in the area until he gets alerted and it pings on the map. So you can shoot him knowing where he is. Then collect his phone and then you can head to his apartment. From here on, it's pretty easy. The hacking virus, or whatever it's called, will just be on the TV drawer, as I pretty much, I think this is the only spawn that there is. If there is other ones, then they're pretty, they could be, but this is the one that where I've seen pretty much everyone else get. So get that spawn and it will collect it and then deliver it back. And now the finale. Before we start, however, this is where some new beefy stuff comes in handy. If you have the La Mesa Auto Shop, this is by far the best way to complete this with your Oppressor Mark II. What I like to do is store it down the road over near the Los Santos Customs area. Reason for this is because it's the closest garage that I own near my auto shop. So you do the exact same thing as me, but with a garage that's close to your auto shop, if you're not using the La Mesa one, of course. Then with your Oppressor, enter the garage and it's simple stuff. Now. When you start the finale, turn around towards your garage, and now you're thinking to me, right? This isn't gonna work at all, but just watch and learn. When I'm here, if there's a blue checker to enter the garage, then it's a success. Get out your vehicle, and then enter where your oppressor is stored, and then get onto it, and boom, it actually works. Now, although this is just straight up cheesing the mission, it's insanely useful and OP. That's why I wanted to share this trick with you guys. It works, it's efficient, and powerful especially for the super dollar contract. The reason is because it allows us to damage the truck a lot quicker and allows us to get to the truck a lot quicker. Okay, so with your very fast oppressor Mark II, make your way to the truck and once here, you can just straight up spray and pray to everything that it locks onto and it's that OP. Now do be careful with the bar at the bottom. However, just make sure that you stop shooting the truck once the bar has disappeared. And now land your oppressor onto the checkpoint which makes it a lot easier for you when you have to exit and then enter the truck and from here it's pretty straightforward hack into the door and then take out the two guards that will be in the hallway waiting for you and then steal all of the plates after that exit the truck and boost your way to the buyer and with that we are done now i know this may be a little bit too overpowered some of you guys may not agree with this it may be a little bit risky strat and some of you guys don't want to do it. Some of you guys want to just play it normally and have fun with the tuner vehicles, and that's totally fine. However, this makes it so much faster. You can use it with every other contract in the Los Santos Tuners update, but I just wanted to share this trick with you guys if you guys weren't aware of this. So yes, you can use it if you want. I know some of you don't. Personally, I've only used it for the first time. I found out how overpowered it was, and I had to share it with you guys. If you want to use it, you can. If you don't want to, that's totally fine. If you did enjoy this video, consider subscribing and don't forget to drop a like and big shout out to my members showing on screen right now 
If you would like to become a member like them, click the join button or the link that is down in the description. And with that, I will see you all later.